morning guys hope y'all having a good day I'm going to introduce you to Tom's new build well I've got two builds I'm going to show off today but we're going to hop into a little bit more interesting subjects for example um, some updates that I've recently ran that I'm going to publish here hopefully today I've been working on these for a while and then I'm going to give you a link to what I call a fluff repository now to the left if you remember, this is Brad's RGB Explosion case. This is a $159 Corsair 570X case. Now it's got tempered glass on all four sides. And it's a pretty sturdy case. Very good looking case, especially if it's going to be in an entertainment room. But if you want something that's very similar, uh, at about, for about one third the price, take a look at the Cooler Master. Uh, what is it? I Master Box 5 Pro. Now, this is Tom's build right in front of me. It is a Ryzen 5 2400G. Now, his is overclocked to 3.92 gigahertz per core. He's got a, let's go ahead and turn him on. He's got an NVIDIA GTX 1070 Ti. And I just installed a 16 gig RAM. Initially, with the builds that I was selling last week, they came with eight, and while eight will get you going, uh, 16 gigs will allow you to take advantage of dual channel and in greatly increase the bandwidth and speed of just about whatever you're working on or playing. Now he has got the Cooler Master uh, water cooler is actually pretty cool. I've never seen an RGB heat sink, so uh, you've got. An RGB uh, controlled heat sink with CPU, and you got four RGB fans. Now, the MSI A320M Gaming Pro motherboard, yes, it's a lot of words, but that's literally what it is. It's a, it's a mid range board, but it does feature a RGB controller. Actually, you have two RGB controllers. So on Leo's build behind me, I decided to go ahead and run his uh, RGB to his board. But Tom, on the other hand, is running his machine inside of the uh, entertainment room. So this is going to be in a big theater. So what I did for him is I drilled the bottom of the case. And since I had one of these laying, actually I had a few of these laying around. Uh, if we take a look down there, see a little hump. I installed an RGB controller so that way if he's watching a movie he don't have to stop what he's doing he can just reach under here and turn the lights off or change or if they're distracting it, whatever he don't have to actually log into the MSI software in Windows well guys I decided I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and start a live Feed here in a minute we're going to go over a ton of updates that I've made and how I kind of screwed myself I've got five machines that need to be shipped out but I have updated so much within the last two days of basically letting these machines burn in an image I finished several projects that I now have to update all five machines which is going to take another day or two Unless you guys just want your machine shipped out now, and uh, either way, I don't care. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a live feed, then I'm going to take you over to a fluff repository. Now, what's a fluff repository? Well, it's that content that you download and add to your front end, whether it's Hyperspin, LaunchBox, no matter what it is, as a fluff system. Basically, a system just to add a num another number to the wheel. No one will ever play it. You'll get confused just by looking at it. But it's a content filler. A lot of people do this just to add systems to their, their wheel. But I find it a little cumbersome and it clutters things up. But I've got a repository with about 80 systems in it. And we'll head over there and I'll show you how to download and take advantage of that while it's still up. Alright guys, hold tight. I will be back in about 20 minutes. And I'm going to start a live feed here shortly. 